It must be so annoying, you know, when you first do these things because you think you're doing the right thing. And of course, you know, when you are sort of in that particular position, you want to tell the truth or the truth is so you know it, you get the picture. It's interesting, isn't it, when you read these, uh, also these things about other people's books, you know. I recently was looking back at a book uh, from none other than the brilliant 1950s and 40s movie star, Stuart Granger, who latterly said, even though he was paid a lot of money for the first part of his autobiography, regretted being so honest, simply because he said he couldn't retract it, and those were the chapters that people kept reiterating in interviews, even though at the time of writing it, he felt it was the right thing to do. This is now, of course, the bigger problem for none other than the former well known as Prince Harry. And it's all about the, well, visa row and drugs. But as ever, it gets more complicated. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, we'll have a quick wave in the sun. Yes, all right. I know it's nice, isn't it? The sun, I know, look, it's beating down. Terrible, really, when you think, I know, have I got protection on? Well, you need it, don't you? Well, you don't, actually, because every two minutes you've got to get your brolly up, yeah. Don't get me going about the weather. Thank you for your lovely comments, by the way, about our recent video regarding the Prince, the showgirl, and everything else. Fascinating story, that, wasn't it? Prince Philip, what a man. Mm. <laughs> That's only the tip of the iceberg, I would suspect, though. Wonderful to meet these people that tell you the inside track. It's a little like this story, you know, with the inside track of Prince Harry. I've said to you before, I think if I was in his shoes, he perhaps should have kept his own counsel on certain things, particularly the Taliban and the drug taking. But I've been told from an excellent source, you see, that Prince Harry felt at the time that every single area of that book he wants to stand by. He believes that what he's telling is his version of events. Now we're led to believe that his lawyer says he may have exaggerated these things. And I told you before, you should be allowed a refund. It's clearly a lie, which is the truth. Now, apparently the ghostwriter didn't question him about it, who was paid a million, but one person who did encourage him, particularly in the drugs area, was none other than his wife, Meghan Markle. Yes, she apparently, well, knew every single every area of the book that was going in and really said you've got to be the best version of yourself be totally honest and tell the truth now I've also been told and as ever we have to say allegedly this has sparked an absolute explosion in the land of Montecito because now it's the blame game isn't it he's done exactly what he's been encouraged to do and in particular perhaps by his publisher his ghostwriter and of course his wife the cable TV actress Meghan Markle so when you think about it he's now looking around saying but I did what you told me to do and now this drugs you know shambles whatever you want to call it is literally coming now to become very problematic. Now why is she so concerned? Well she's so concerned because it doesn't play out very well for her brand American Riviera Orchard and more importantly her newfound political ambitions, her newfound heritage. There's Harry talking about all manner of drug taking literally in the past and let me tell you over here inside the British media they're re-looking at some of the situations that he got himself in. If I was Harry I would be very concerned about those forthcoming legal cases that you're undertaking with the newspaper groups. But back to the book and Meghan. Well apparently she thought it was a good idea, Harry thought it was a good idea but now, in the fullness of light, and as our late and beautiful monarch famously said, in the fullness of time, it doesn't look so clear now. A little bit like the drugs, one might say, Prince Harry. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.